Hey guys, it's Reena and today I'm actually very busy. Um, I have a lot of school work to do, you know, procrastination and all that. So today I'm gonna let my little sister take over the channel. She's a bit troublesome and I really hope you guys will be sane after this. So, Reen? What? Congratulations, I'm handing my channel over to you. Does that mean I get Hey guys, my name is Reen and today we have with me an empty couch. Because my sister is not here because she is quote unquote busy sleeping. So today we're going to do five mispronounced words. Or was it four? Or three? You know what? It is now officially one. So the first word is C I R C U I T. Circuit. No, no, say it as circuit. Yeah, circuit. Or else, don't say circuit. That's it. My sister will kill me if she learns that you said circuit. Okay. You know what? I give up on this. My version now. The first word is pneumonia ultramicroscopic silicovulcaniosis. It is pronounced as pneumonia ultramicroscopic silicovulcaniosis. Wait, I didn't even tell you how it's mispronounced. Oh god. Okay, we're gonna do something new today. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna be talking about moi, specifically about how I learned English. Let me let you in on a secret. It was a huge accident. And when I say huge, I mean huge accident. You see, as a kid, I was exposed to the internet because my sister would be going to school and my parents were at work, which gave me plenty of time to surf the net. So I would be watching YouTube. And exactly, you would think I'm the dumbest girl on the planet because I've been doing this and I didn't even go to preschool. But guess what? I'm not. My favorite channel was Dora the Explorer. Dora the Explorer. Dora the Explorer. And oh yeah, don't forget Dora the Explorer. She was my idol, you know. I wanted to go to random countries and places that I didn't even know that I'm not even going to go. You know the possibility of going to a rainforest and not knowing where you are? And then randomly having a map? And then just walking around the map and speaking. What in the world? Hello, are you watching back on your Dora the Explorer last year? Oh yeah, totally. Makes sense. You see, back then it was an incredibly dreadful process to join grade school. You would have to go through millions of teachers who had this very scary look on their face. And at the end they wouldn't even give you candy. I mean, who are these people? But let me tell you, I swept them off their feet with my amazing English. Not my English, my accent. But let me tell you what happened in my kitchen. I saw the clouds open. And Dora herself held her hand out to me. I reached out and she guided me through the interview. And since then, she has been my idol. Salute to you, Dora. You know, now that I think about it, I used to have such a beautiful accent. You know? Hey Dad, it's me, me. Remember Valentine's Day? Did you get us anything? Well, sorry we could not get you anything, but this video is just for you. We are just going to make it ready. Right now, Dana and I are going to film it soon. Dana, put it somewhere there. It's, it's not going to fall and we are going to make the video. Bus together. Bye to each other. Looking back, the time we spent together, I have good memories of learning English, singing rhyme. Yes, just beat your beatings. They are different dresses. But then I 
realized that other people actually actually couldn't understand me so I decided to be nice I went down to their level and I said hello when I connected with them and now I'm a proud Indian Sorry, we deviated so far from the topic. I was actually supposed to tell you on how I made my English better, how I improved, but uh, we got to the point where I said how I made my accent deproof. I guess I don't know if that's a word, but okay. So, but I do have this really distant memory of me speaking at somewhere like a T E D. It was. I don't remember much but I do remember there were 20,000 people in front of me and I had the spotlight shining on me minus the part that there was no spotlight no 20,000 people it was 20 I was in my classroom with my teacher and yeah it was Ted it was teachers educational dilemma yes one of my speeches to you guys the speech's name is I am unique you see I am very unique I wake up in the morning get ready wear my sports dress on sports dress no my jumpsuit but I get my water bottle gotta stay hydrated my surfboard and then I surf the internet I surf and surf and surf and I think I'm the best surfer in town. No one can out surf me. Second thing that makes me unique is that I am not lazy. I just lost my motivation. Actually, I don't lose it either because I know exactly where it is. You see, back when I was in fifth grade, wait, no, not fifth grade. I'm in fifth grade now. No, back when I was in first grade we had summer break I had a lot of motivation which I like to keep with me at all times to make sure I stay motivated but you see that motivation is rather heavy it's not just a keychain I can yank into my bag no it is very and when I say very I mean very heavy so I decided why don't I just leave it in my locker so that way it would have a safe place to stay and I won't have to carry it back home. But with my luck, guess what happened? I lost my local key. You see, that was one of the worst times of my life. And now I'm reaching out to you, all of you first graders in my school. Please, in locker number 43 if you ever manage to open it please return my motivation to me it has my name and address on it remember don't need to knock just enter okay i don't care if we don't care you just bang down the door come in put it and leave it fix the door too and the third thing that makes me special is that I'm very smart not going to brag but I'm extremely smart when I was in LKG I knew Portuguese and Spanish but we had to learn numbers so I forgot that so don't ask me and when I was in first grade I knew decimal division yes decimal division but I forgot that because we have photosynthesis who would want to remember decimal division when we have photosynthesis much more interesting but there's one thing I'm sure to remember for years to come the ABC I know what comes after every letter you know I know what comes after D wait what does come after D wait a minute give me a sec A B C D E oh yeah, yeah. it's E you didn't hear me sing anything That's all I need. I don't need no channel. Yeah. So, I see that the camera is on. So, till we meet again. Goodbye.
एंड गुड डे